Yesterday I was set a challenge and it was a challenge to uh, do one of my recipes for pancakes. Now I don't normally do pancakes on pancake day. Um, if I fancy a pancake I just make pancakes. <laughs> this recipe is one of my frugal recipes. It's very simple. Um, it doesn't have eggs. These are eggless pancakes so these are ideal if eggs are an expensive thing in your budget, um, if you can't get any, if you can't afford any or if you only use for certain things or you just don't eat eggs and you get a perfectly good pancake recipe out of this. So I am going to start this. I have pre-prepped some of my ingredients just to make things a bit simpler and um, I don't have anything in at the moment to make sweet pancakes. I don't have any cream or any chocolate spread or any jam or anything. Um, but these pancakes are quite good because you can knock out a couple of the ingredients and make savoury pancakes. So I am going to make ham and cheese pancakes for dinner. I'm going to pre-prep all the ingredients in the mix now. It's uh, two o'clock in the afternoon. I'm going to pre-prep it now because the light is better um, and then I can let the mix sit. You don't have to for this. Uh, it's not like doing the Yorkshire batter recipe, but I just want to use the light properly. Also, my internet is still down, so this seems a good time, whilst I'm undistracted by anything else, to get this done. So I am going to mix all this together. I'll show you, and I'll put up here somewhere where what all the ingredients are, so you can follow it. And I will, uh, first of all, I'll say that the ingredients that I have taken out actually only one ingredient I've taken out and that is the cinnamon so one teaspoon of cinnamon if you are making sweet pancakes you might want to add some cinnamon you can add it if you're doing savoury it's up to you I'm just not going to bother today because I am making savoury pancakes everything else is as the same so I'm going to get started here I'm going to move the camera down so you can see what I'm doing rather than look at me and then we will get on with this and um, this will be our pancake recipe so here's your challenge if you don't usually have pancakes but you want pancake day give this recipe a go and see what you think okay so here is my little area I have pre-prepped one cup of all-purpose flour I can't remember how many pancakes this makes and really it depends. I am using my medium sized sauce, um, my medium sized pan, sorry the word has completely gone from my head, um, just because it's the one I often use. So one cup of all purpose flour. I am going to add one teaspoon of sugar. And you need to do it in this order, uh, well, you need to mix all your dry ingredients first and then add the wet ingredients. So if you follow this in these two stages, you'll be fine. So one cup of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of sugar. I'm going to skip the one teaspoon of cinnamon. I need two teaspoons of baking powder. One, two, and then I'm going to mix all of those together. There we go. Now I'm going to put in all the wet ingredients. So the first one is one cup of milk. Get that mixed in. Then 
I need one tablespoon of vegetable oil. In it goes. One tablespoon of water. And one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I don't use vanilla extract anymore. It's really expensive. Golden syrup does exactly the same job. So I'm just going to put a little squeeze in there because I'm not making very sweet pancakes. And now I'm just going to give this a good old stir. And that's it. That's all you need to do. So I'm going to let that sit because I'm not ready to actually eat these yet. And then we'll come back a bit later and we will make the pancakes and we will fill the pancakes and then you can see what I'm eating. Right, it is a bit later. It's about quarter to five now. Still some light outside, but I've put the light on as well. Right, so I usually have my dinner about five, so now is about the time when I would start prepping. I've decided I'm going to have the ham, cheese, and I'm going to have mushrooms inside my savoury pancakes. I've chopped up my mushrooms, and I'm going to cook those first on the pan. And then I'm going to cook my, I'm going to make my pancakes, and then I'm going to lay them out on here, and I'm going to fill fill the pancakes wrap them and then they'll go back into the pan to re-warm through and i've also got a little bit of uh, coleslaw to go on the side there's quite a lot of mixture there that could easily be four pancakes so we'll see how we get on so i am going to get started on the mushrooms I'm going to use the margarine in the pan because it says to cook the pancakes in butter or margarine um, and I don't want to mix the oil and the butter if I'm doing the pancakes if that makes any sense so I'm just going to let that warm through and get the mushrooms in just to cook them up a bit um, give a plate big bowl for all of this. Let's put that out of the way first. There's my cheese. I'm using mozzarella, um, some cash back at freebies that I had last year and I put the, some of the cheese into the freezer. It keeps very well and it does the job. It means I've always got cheese on hand if I need it. Okay, let's get these mushrooms going. Get that light on as well. Let's see what's going on. Right, so I'm going to move you round so you can see the pan, really. So then you can see the pan and you can see me making the pancakes. So, let's just get these sauteed, so to speak. Mushrooms are done. Put those to the side. And now I'm going to add more butter. Get that nice and hot, then we can add the first of our pancake mixture. And hopefully. Mm. Mm. Okay, that was unexpected. That's never happened before, ever. 
Let's go back to oil. Oh my God. I've never... <laughs> well, that was fun, wasn't it? I've never seen that happen. Let's just use oil. I think it's going to be safer. What the hell is going on there? That was terrifying. It does not look happy, that flame, does it? Right. Let's try again. It made me jump that. That <laughs> was excitement for you, wasn't it? stick as it used to be. In fact none of my pans are. Hey ho. Kind of looks like a pancake, right? It's really nice, <laughs> even though it looks a little bit crispy. fourth one's turned out the best, perhaps not surprisingly. It's always the last one that turns out the best. It always happens to me. Until I ruin it. Right. Okay. <laughs> Let's attempt to turn these into a, an edible meal. So, a bit of ham. Just start on the edge. Bit of ham. Bit of cheese. We're scrimping on this, aren't we? Uh, I need a spoon. A few mushrooms. Wrap it up. Put that 
to the side for the moment. Number one. And we'll do the same thing again. Bit of that. Bit of cheese. Some mushrooms. I just kept the ingredients to a minimum because uh, these pancakes ended up pretty small. Wrap away. Number two. Number three. Start from this side. Mushrooms, bit of cheese, should have got some more cheese out of the freezer. Never mind, not gonna hurt. It's a lot of pancakes for one evening. Number three, and then our last one, which, oh my goodness, they'll be fine when they're recooked. I know what you're all thinking. This is real life. This is what people do in their kitchens. They try things out, they make a mess. They're using substantial equipment. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Four. I'm going to lay these side by side. Back in the frying pan. to attempt to crisp them up. Although I'm a bit scared about trying to turn them over. Quite fragile. So there we are. Let's put that on again. Thank you. 